If you're wondering how you can create interactive choice boards that you can include on your Google Slides presentations, then keep watching. I've also included a quick tutorial on how to use the free template, which I've included in the description box below. So I'm going to be showing you how I create a interactive Google Slide um, lesson. Uh, with the integration of choice words. So this is an example of a lesson I did. It was on the cell cycle and you'll notice that I included choice words in two different ways. The first way is I've provided students with a choice in terms of um, what video uh, or what resource they can kind of choose from during the engage uh, phase of the lesson. And I use this, the choice boards in that in that way. The second way I use choice boards is um, during the explore or uh, during the explore uh, phase of the lesson. I want students to learn more about the different parts of the cell cycle. Um, since the cell cycle has five parts, um, I wanted them to learn about each one uh, individually, rather than me kind of like having a video or having them read an article with all of the parts at once. Um, I wanted to break it down just like so it's more um, clear, uh, it's more user friendly, and uh, it's more engaging that way. So what the effect that would be accomplished is the following. So if the students are viewing the presentation, they want to learn about G1, they would click on G1 and then it would take them to the slide <clears throat> where I have integrated the video of me explaining G1 and um, it also includes some additional info information on the slide and then once they're done it tells them to click on this which will take them back to the cell cycle slide and then they would go ahead and click on the next stage so either G0 or S and as you can see it pulls up the slide where I explain about S phase and so on and so forth so this way it's just I don't know, I just felt like it was just a more fun, engaging way for them to kind of learn uh, rather than going through the slides and um, having everything in one place. And then once they're done, so once they finish this, if they, were, if, they, if they were going through this lesson and they click on the next slide, this will show up, meaning basically telling them to click here where it would take them to the last part of the lesson, which is the explain part. And this is where I would put the assignment. So this is where I would put the questions that I want them to answer based on what they just learned. All right, so um, again, it's really flexible in terms of how you can do this. There are so many options and ways. For example, um, I teach science, I teach bio, so that's why I chose the cell cycle, but I could have done this um, with another image, right? Or with, an, with another concept. Anything that has parts or anything that has stages or steps, that would be an excellent way to kind of break it down so that students can go through the steps or the stages in a much more engaging way. Now, um, I will include this template and I just wanna go over quickly how you can use this. So um, this this is a, a kind of like a more a brief, um, it's a template. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But basically, um, you'll notice that it has the title page and then it has the section where you can add your learning targets. And this is um, the choice board component. And I'm going to show you, it's super easy to do. All you need is the picture which or the template of the uh, the background so i chose to do sticky notes you can you can add different pictures if you want you can use this definitely your choice um here we have three but let's say your choice board needed more let's say you needed six choices or um you know more than that all you have to do is click on this copy command c or control c paste command v or control v and now you have six choices and you would just like resize this as you wish okay let's say i wanted nine choices i would just create a copy of this again and i would resize all right and and there you go now you have nine nine choices and obviously you would resize it um <clears throat> so it fits nicely now let's say you wanted five all you have to do is crop so crop one of these out 
and now you have five choices, okay? So it's super flexible in terms of how you wanna play with this. Um, I'm gonna keep it at three for now, um, just for simplicity's sake. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to add a text box. So insert text box, and I'm gonna place the text box right here. And here, this is where I would put my first choice, so choice one. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to create a slide, okay? a new slide where you're gonna be putting the information um, relating to choice number one here. So you can do it anyway. Um, how I chose to do it is I like to put a bit of information, a video, so that in case students um, need to get that kind of auditory um, and visual component of learning. You can put links if you want them to read more and explore more, um, etc. So this is where you would put, oops, this is where you would put that. Um, I've already created a slide, again, which can serve as your template. And net, all you have to do is basically highlight this word choice and then insert link, okay? Or use the shortcut command K if you have a Mac or I'm not sure what it is for um, Windows, but for Mac it's command K. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> then what you're gonna do is, instead of uh, like choosing a link, you're gonna scroll down, uh, sorry, you're gonna click on this option, slides in this presentation. And you'll notice that for choice one, okay, for choice one, it is slide four. All right, so I'm gonna do again, highlight, insert, link, and then I'm gonna choose slide four, because that's pertaining to choice one. And I'm gonna click apply. That what this will do is when the student is viewing your lesson, if they click on choice one, it will take them to the slide that uh, is dealing with choice one. You need to also include a um, link that will take them back to the choice board if you want them to choose more than one option, okay? So for example, in the cell cycle thing that I did, I wanted them to go through all these options. So therefore, I needed to include the back to cycle option so that once they're done with the first part, they go back and they can go through the second and third and fourth parts, etc. If you just want them to make one choice and that's it, then you do not have to include this part right here, okay? All right, so um, basically that is it. And the more choices you add, so if I was to add six choices, I would need to create copies of these uh, slides. So. Uh, come on, you, all you have to do is duplicate slide, so right click, duplicate slide, and you just need to change this, so choice five, for example, and then let's say I have six, six choices, so again, duplicate slide, right click, and I'm going to make choice six, and then that way when I do have six of these, I have six slides to go with it. Um, and that's about it. I've also included um, the kind of like assignment slide and um, let's say you wanna ask questions at the end or you want students to kind of uh, do like, a, like an application or a uh, critical thinking type question, this is where you would do it. And the reason why I like to put everything in one, so this is like a, like a hyper doc, by putting everything in one place, it's just a lot more streamlined, organized for both you and the students. You don't have students kind of like, oh, I didn't see the assignment that you attach, or oh, I can't access it, I don't have access, and it's just like a headache. Um, what I found is if you put everything in one place, especially when you're doing something like e-learning and, and, and things tend to get lost in translation with students, um, avoiding these little details can really save your life uh, when it comes to like organization. Um, I think that's it. So basically, um, let's say you want to create more than one question. All you have to do is duplicate the slide again and like customize it how you want. Um, and you want to add to this, go ahead. This is just a template. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel, uh, feel free to ask. I am, I would be more than happy to help out.